So tell me, uh, madam, uh, how do you feel about surprises? Like, if the surprise is good, I feel very nice, and if the surprise is bad, I feel like killing that person. So you think the surprise is something which is supposed to be fetched by some person all the time? Mostly, the surprises are given by someone, or we give someone. Is it not that life throws surprises at you? in the most possible weird way life gives surprises uh, like uh, through the person on, only like m- mostly we are affected mostly by the people around Don't us you think the people are the medium by which life and time throws the surprises at us yes they are the medium they and they they are the one who uh, affects more like what people are thinking so about who us who do you actually find uh, whom do you actually find responsible as a factor of causing we, the surprises is it is it the person or is it the reason behind or the consequences behind the person i think so that uh, the pers- uh, the reason is the main cause why he is create doing this surprises like if uh, someone is give- gifting a gift to someone the reason is very good but if someone is hurting someone for a surprise that the reason behind it's bad hurting somebody is uh, something that falls under the category of surprise you think yeah like uh, sometime it like covid 19 was a surprise to us right yes it was that was given that was somebody gi- or something it is that just was a given by china it's just an occurrence and it, it, it's a, you you cannot define it there is no proof against it it is just a surprise that occurred to the world right yes can we really prove and uh, claim that yes this is because of that country and this is the proof for which all the countries are going to fight against it can you really do that the answer is like, no yes the answer, we don't have the exact proof but 50% or 60% we believe that mm-hmm. it's just because of that country this started but we don't have the proof to just go and fight with them fine so now when you know that covid 19 was a surprise to all of us right because most of us we have been sitting at home for almost 7 to 8 months lot of people became jobless lot of people became foodless and it was a pathetic uh, situation going on all around us so that was a surprise and it is way more uh, bigger than giving uh, someone a heart attack or someone some wounds it is way more bigger than that right so 
how do you think you should prepare yourself for handling such surprises like it's a natural surprise give which can be like uh, any type of surprises can be like earthquake is a natural surprise mm -hmm. tsunami is a natural surprise which is given by environment and for mm -hmm. that we have to be prepared like uh, this time we knew uh, this time we uh, this was the first time when we were not uh, mentally or physically fit for this situation but now we are mentally and physically fit and we are ready to face anything like if such a uh, virus comes like one more virus is there I, we are calling it brother of corona and we are ready to fight with it We're like we are uh, having uh, lots of uh, things which will increase our immunity we are doing exercises and are preparing ourselves for that virus okay if you suddenly have an earthquake tomorrow will you really have any chance to be prepared for that like uh, if it's in the uh, i have seen earthquake i was uh, like i was in medanta at 13, 14th floor and it was a very bad earthquake and uh, i survived there like it was a god i prayed to god god please save me next time i'll never visit medanta again <laughs> and he saved me <laughs> so i think god is there with me he will save me from any of the disaster like he will never let me die with the earthquake okay it was lovely talking to you vina as always and with that uh, maybe please move on to abhirup now or we will move on to diptangshu so abhirup are you ready no, he is not connected his video okay fine so move on to diptangshu shamunto diptangshu can you please turn on your video yeah sure hi okay diptangshu can you please introduce it? hello i am professor chundrima roy and we will be talking about uh, english communication today okay can you I, I believe that okay. we are meeting for the first time. So can you please introduce yourself? Yes. So I am Diptanshu Shamanta and I am currently pursuing BTEC uh, in Electronics and Telecommunication Engineering from KIT University. And I am currently the Senior Executive of KIT Entrepreneurship Cell. So that's my introduction, basic introduction. So anything more you want to uh, like Where are you know from? Or... Where are you from? Chandanagar, uh, Hooghly. Chandanagar, Hooghly. So you are uh, currently you are in home, right? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, fine. Ditanshu, you are a member of the entrepreneurship cell for KIT. Life and yes, KIT and University. Okay, life and of an entrepreneur is full of challenges, risks and surprises the risks are the surprises sometimes the challenges are the surprises at times right how, yes, yes, yes. how do you prepare yourself for handling such risks in coming time okay so like any time like for an entrepreneur or a like startup owner or like working in a startup okay so you have to take risk so you have to keep in mind key like i am i am opting for this so I have the like power or capability to face new challenge or new risk. Okay, so that's a willpower. So first is like you have to be like strong and have a strong willpower so that uh, anything comes in future. I need to overcome and fight this. So that's one point. So like I exactly don't know like what was the exact question like how we want to like what you actually want to know. Like I just got distracted. So like, can you once more repeat the question? Yeah, sure. I will definitely repeat the question, but um, a humble suggestion before I repeat the question, yes. please make sure that you are listening to the question very carefully. Okay. This is okay. a class where we will talk about the norms of business communication. Okay. We, uh, we are from different places. We studied in various schools. Few of us studied in vernacular mediums. Few of us have got proper content education. Yeah, few of us has got a kind of an English medium background. 
so these things and our accents and our thought processes these all will vary but what we have to make sure for obvious reasons is we are the best the way we answer please understand my point yes i cannot i may not talk like an english man my english may not sound like an american diction english but what i answer to the question you ask me i am the best at for my capabilities this is something which i can ensure right yes. do you agree yes exactly okay fine so now you can only do that when you are convinced the best while answering to the question if you just you are very honest and i really appreciate that you told me that ma'am i got distracted so can you please repeat the question this is a very humble and a very genuine way of uh, placing across your shortcomings i absolutely understand and i appreciate but the take away message for you after this session is you have to be way more attentive to the question before you start answering are you getting yes. my point yes 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 i got that why <clears throat> the question is why you have to do that because please understand that whatever you are saying now is going to be the ground for your next question i did not meet you before when i met you i asked for your introduction so this is your full ball game you can play it the way you want so what did you tell me you told me about your name what do you study where do you study in and what are your additional accolades and there you mentioned about the membership of the entrepreneurship cell for your college right yes after that i asked you that where are you from and you told me that it is from chandunagar yes. right so yes. where did the next question pop up from it popped up from one of the answers that you have given understand carefully right yes you talked about entrepreneurship tumi na bolle to ami jante partam na baba are you getting my point yes 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 so now when you are answering to the next question that i have asked you that the life of an entrepreneur is full of risks and challenges and we can often consider them as surprises how do you prepare yourself to handle those risks and challenges okay Okay. So, like, how there do I prepare myself? There is a myself thin line to... which is implanted in this question. That is, I am by default assuming that you are going to be an entrepreneur. Okay. Understand the point. I am by default assuming that since you are a member of an entrepreneurship cell, you are going to be an entrepreneur. You may not. And also, like, I am also, I, and I am you, also you like oh, having my own startup. Yes. you you may also want to differ yeah. you could have answered it that ma'am i am currently a student of the entrepreneurship cell i have my own startup but nothing is decided as of now because i may go for pursuing higher studies and then uh, collect a bit of experience from industry and then come back and uh, renew my startup initiative once again but yes whether i be an entrepreneur or not life will always throw challenges and surprises at us so anybody should be well prepared so that he handles or she handles challenges in the best possible way she can or he can mm. right even if i am a service person i will have surprises in life few of them i will like few of them i will not like but even if i don't like them i will have to deal with it right yes there comes the question how do you prepare yourself for dealing with those surprises the question is very detailed my dear take your time to think before you start speaking shona matro i tomake bolte hobe na you don't have to answer immediately after you listen the question you take your okay. time think over it and then answer in such a way so that you don't contradict yourself amar kotha bujhte pachho ki bolchi yes 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 sir 
but amar ekta i have one question so like mm-hmm. uh, like for example in gd like for group discussion of any company interview mm-hmm. so <clears throat> they are when a question or a topic is thrown then the students needs to speak on it so mm-hmm. one needs to be fast where uh, to answer the question to grab the first attention so like is it a good point or like uh, take your time to think and then answer so what will be your suggestion like like uh, like uh, at the first time only just like after hearing the question or the topic that is given so just speak on start speaking on that or like take the time and then like for it uh, like for a time or like two minutes and three minutes then if you get a chance then start speaking so what is your like the suggestion? decision has to be situational there is no thumb rule for the answer there is no thumb rule kind of a stuff for answering to your question because the decision is absolutely situational but please understand one thing you have to talk sense you cannot talk some tom harry dickens just because of the sake of grabbing attention it will be an absolute nonsense i am asking you questions from alaska and you are talking about the weather and climate of africa makes a mockery of your promptness you understood my point yes. talking sense is important talking relevance is important and please understand that group discussion is more about paying attention to what the other people are saying you may have okay. some opinion set in your mind but that could have been complimented or contradicted or already spoken by the rest of the people around then what you are going to do hmm. say for okay. example you have four points in your mind uh, for a topic it can be for the topic it can be against the topic or it can be some neutral opinion whatever it is what will you do if the three other person has already talked about all those four points you had in your mind will you say that oh i had some points in my mind uh, but my fellow mates have already spoken about it so here i pause you think that that is going to uh, give you some good credit on the note no what you can do is that to the points you can add to your reflection you can add to what you think about it your perceptions you can add facts and figures to the discussion that is going on you can make them understand that why you feel it to be so relevant because what you feel that you only feel that i don't know right yes so being convinced about a point and then making some statements as your uh, cross placements across the table makes the difference promptness is needed but unplanned unthought promptness for the sake of promptness only does not give good results necessarily dipankshu it was wonderful talking to you for the first time i yeah. hope that i could uh, guide you on some notes where you had yes. some questions Thank in you, mind ma'am. Uh, yes, thank yes. you for being here and i am sure that we are going to meet quite a next quite a few next times onwards okay so please be sure. with us please be with lwt and i pray and i wish on the new year time that life give you full of surprises all that you have aspired and may your bag be full with the gifts of santa claus the the, the good gifts of uh, santa claus that we all call it as surprises okay it was lovely okay. meeting you thank today you, thank you ma'am okay thank okay. you so now Bye. shall we talk to khushbu shall we talk to khushbu yes ma'am good evening ma'am good evening i cannot see you my dear yes, hello i can see you now okay okay what is the last surprise gift you got uh, last surprise ma'am your class it was not a surprise i come on every tuesday yes ma'am but sometime we we missed or oh, today ma'am is not coming no i do uh, okay in the last week only i could not come oh you missed me thank you you made my day <laughs> thank you okay ma'am. what is the what is the best what is what is the recent surprise that you got in your life which made you very happy um yes i do like surprises uh, all the time but my question my... is wait yes, wait yes. wait my question is 
what is the last surprise that you got which made you so happy uh, last year my mom sent me a birthday gift and it was a surprise for me i don't know about that my mom sent me but when i got that surprise i feel very happy inside there was a beautiful dress and i wear that dress on my birthday oh lovely it was a wonderful surprise do you plan to give surprises to your near and dear ones yes ma'am every time all the how time how do you do that what is the last surprise planning that you made ma'am uh, uh, i surprised uh, maybe um, like a bake a cake for my son it was a surprise for him uh, uh, that first january 2021 i bake a cake for him and he feel very happy Okay. Has there been such an incident, Kushbu, which was a surprise, and you really did feel very bad about it? Ma'am, was there any? Never incident? ever that type of surprise in my life. You never have had such a surprise in life which made you feel bad. No. You are very blessed, <laughs> and I wish and I pray that life continues to. Uh, keep you protected in such a way so that you never ever come across a situation which can make you feel bad surprises can really be very weird and bad and pathetic at times yes, it was, i wish you never experienced it was given by friends uh, maybe like a joke mm -hmm. to maybe maybe like a, a in the in the friend circle maybe it's it was kind of joke to with doing doing this but i never ever that type of joke and surprise okay if something happens wrong at some point of time how will you handle it ma'am i feel very nervous and maybe disappoint about that thing i want to do something better to how to deal and how to come up from that that thing okay akushbu let me just make a small correction it is not feel bad or disappoint it is if that happens i asked you that how you will deal if such a incident comes across in future right so the answer would be in correct form like this i don't know how i am going to deal with even if it at all happens to me uh, definitely i will feel very bad broken and i will be very disappointed i will be very disappointed okay that is how we put the past participle tense of any verb when we use the be verb across it okay is always the past participle then so it is not disappoint it will be i will be very disappointed okay okay thank you kushbu please take care it was lovely meeting you for the first time in new year thank keep you. this smile intact and i am sure that we are going to meet next week as well so yeah. abhirup are you there can we please talk to you now even if your camera is not ready so can you please unmute yourself and we can talk yeah yeah sure you you couldn't uh, make your camera work like right uh, sorry you couldn't make your camera work i actually this uh, usb is not working with my port okay okay not an issue abiru uh, we are possibly talking for the first time so can you please yeah. introduce yourself yeah hi i am abiru and I belong to Lucknow, UP, and I live in Kolkata. Uh, okay. I study at uh, Indian Institute of Science Education Research, Kolkata, and I'm pursuing this uh, Earth Data Science course. And currently, I'm in second year. And apart from this, like I like this entrepreneurship, so I'm basically just like trying my luck in this domain. And okay. fortunately, now I'm the part of this company as a CTO. okay i wish you all the very best and all the aspirations that you have in your mind may come true in this new year 2021 and yeah, thank um, you <laughs> and thank you for being a part of us as well lwt entire lwt family welcomes you and we are yeah. equally delighted to have you among the stars yeah, tell me you. one one thank you thank you we are also delighted the same as uh, delighted you are tell me one simple reason for which you would like to continue your association with lwt one simple reason okay so the field in which this company is working is like have some 
like it this have a good potential for this company so maybe this this will be a next unicorn so this will keep me working with this company okay lucknow is famous for uh, khushboo and khana right it's is is a place of royal yeah, more for so, puria yeah so uh, yeah it is famous for lucknow biryani and galauti kebab and what not and uh, the atar right so fragrance is one of the famous in the place of the royals basically yeah yeah uh, after shifting to kolkata uh, has the city ever surprised you in good bad whatever way you feel okay honestly i didn't li- like the food of kolkata much okay yeah like uh, like if you have some like high standards of food like like lucknow the taste we have here like mm-hmm. uh, the taste of kolkata is bit low in comparison of lucknow that is obvious like, my dear you are from the place of the royals so it is obvious that we won't be able to complement that for the standard you are used to so uh, that is absolutely something i agree but my question next, was different my question my yeah, question was has the city ever surprised you in some yeah, good yeah, yeah. or bad possible ways has yeah, the city talk, ever surprised you yeah if we talk about the local transportation and the population of your city like mm-hmm. uh, kolkata is like very dense like uh, lucknow is not that much dense as kolkata is and the local trains are bit surprising like i have i have never seen such crowd in a train okay yeah so like uh, when i first travel on this local i didn't have a place to stand i was just like inclined on on a man on that train <laughs> and and it was quite surprising for you that how do people travel years after years in the same possible way right yeah actually like uh, for the, from the first station the train was like it's empty but just after three or four stations it was like the no space between any of us okay i absolutely understand yes since you told me that you have interest in entrepreneurship so you must be uh, agreeing to the fact that life of an entrepreneur is full of surprises and challenges yeah it's unpredictable it is unpredictable and full of stress and troubles at times when you have to bear those stress and stop trouble on behalf of other people as well because you are going to be an employer and not an employee uh, apirup what act for you should be the preparatory uh, phase of the la- of an entrepreneur so that he becomes a better person to deal with all those challenges in later later in his life okay uh, he should learn to have uh, like he or she should have uh, should learn to have patience like what i like uh, figured out is the thing you should have is patience like if someone is not doing work then like you have to patience uh, keep patience with him like or if you are uh, having uh, like facing failures then you have to uh, keep patience or your work is not uh, going on right track maybe maybe anything which like is on the like opposite 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 side then you have to like keep patience in hope that yeah something will work out okay alongside that any other skill that he needs to uh, practice to develop or in yeah, communication skills like i think <laughs> the, like the most important skill you, you have is the like, communication skills like, you have to convince like what you have in your heart to the other person okay then only Does like you, you add any value to your presence in the session if so, uh, so how so, sorry do you think in- that this session the session added some value to your presence in the class yeah absolutely like i'm talking to you i'm no. learning this my question is how did it add any value to your presence how uh, this added value to my presence yes did you take anything uh, did you did you receive any message which you can find as your take home message back home uh not as such any till now okay so no you told me that you find that this session is a value additive one to your presence right so you must be gaining something out of it otherwise it wouldn't have added any value so now my question to you is if the session has really added some value to your presence so what are the value addition parameters can you please point out some one two three or you just remain present and you enjoyed the communication okay uh, let me think first 
not much time left <laughs> i'm not getting the exact points what, what should i say about this maybe like what are the uh, what are the points that you uh, want to emphasize about the communication class okay uh, no for the uh, this question i can say the thing which i will take from this is like connection with you like mm -hmm. i met you like so, sometime in your future if i like have some doubt or regarding this communication and all then i can contact you that that's nothing about additive values to your presence in that class value addition of a session is something very specific like i got an enlightenment on this point or i could understand that we are interacting with somebody with an unknown how empathetic and warm the other person has to be how the physical presence of two people can facilitate the understanding while the platform is a digital platform okay uh, so these are the stuffs that you should have mentioned about like you are you were not ready about the surprise that i'll ask you to turn your video on and then suddenly the usb port at your end did not work and then we have to make ourselves adjusted where one can see the other person but both the parties cannot see each other simultaneously right so this is one way of communication where uh, it's a, it's a kind of a half duplex one so this could be the take away messages that you could have gained from the session so please be ready for the questions that can be asked to you uh, even when you are not ready for it because that is how surprises are being defined in terms of business communication and they do play a lot okay thanks yeah yeah sure vina so will that uh, shall we conclude this session for thank you everybody thank you participants for being here with us and i really look forward that we meet next uh, in our next class stay well take care and a very happy new year to you all once again thank you